You are some ugly fucking ducklings. Gross. The geese teenage years do not do well <laughs> for geese. <laughs> but look how cute this dude is. This is just a little geese chick and he's fucking adorable. Holy fuck. And then their parents are being douches right now. I mean, they trade off. One of them seems like one of them plays uh plays defense, you know. Just keeping watch. The other one grazes. That's all they fucking do. They just graze and shit. It is disgusting. But they're so cute. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that freaking geese. Let's see how close we could get without getting bit by a freaking geese. Do not chase me, man. Do not chase me. Shit. Shit. Oh, man. So then you check these guys out. These guys are just chilling. These are the no kids crew over here. They're like, fuck having kids. You see what they these guys have to deal with? This sucks. You gotta like keep watch for uh, humans all day. You gotta eat way more grass. You gotta like find grass. I don't like finding grass. <laughs> I just like sitting on grass. Who should we follow? That's the real question. These parents were douches, but I've been getting close to these guys. I've been, I've been watching them. I mean, we are, we are right up near this mother goose over here. We're mothers, we're fathers. The geese community, uh, as far as the LGBT community of geese go, They've really uh, been able to come out of the closet lately, you know. It was a more uphill battle than human LGBT community, but it, it, it's, it, it's starting, you know. I don't know what gender these guys are, or sex, but <laughs> I would be okay <laughs> with them being either or, or anything in between. I'm all about the progressive uh, march of society for all creatures. Look at this goose. Let's get close to the baby. Let's not get close to this baby. Holy moly. But let's get close to uh, the Night Watch guy. Look at you. Look at you, you fucking monster. You're such a dick. Uh, maybe I'm being the dick. I'm chasing after this. A child goose right now. <laughs> if I, uh, I'm trying to put myself in the shoes of these geese. If some weird monster came up to me when I was just trying to feed my kid and started talking to me in a language I did not understand whatsoever and held this weird device up to it, up to me, up to my kid, my fucking baby, I'd be pretty perturbed too. So I don't, I don't blame you, geese. I just wish we could communicate better. I wish I could know what you're feeling and vice versa, man. I mean, <laughs> I really probably don't have to think too hard to find out, feel what you're feeling. This dude is having the life. I wish I was a goose. Oh man, if only, if fucking only, right? Okay.